President Toru Kenyatta has today flagged off the 66th edition of the Safar Rally at Mo International Sports Center in Kasarani. 51 drivers signed up for the historic event, which also doubles up as the fourth round of FIA African Rally Championship ARC. The rally, which was flagged outside the presidential pavilion at Kasarani Stadium at 11 a.m. on Friday morning, will have the crew grow 796.86 kilometers around Nairobi, Kiambu, and Nakuru counties. State House spokesperson Kanzadena had termed the rally rally is special, saying it would grant Kenya an opportunity to return to the World Rally Championships calendar. Kindly to have a photo with the president. Kindly, the drivers, a bit faster will be better. And I can see them running. Let's appreciate His Excellency, the President, for that candid work and the commitment to support the rally as he committed. The well represented. The promoter also, also is also there to witness. Let's appreciate Along with Drew Sturrock in the Skoda. He's won the Africa Rally Championship for the last two years and he's leading the Africa. Also Tim Jessup's birthday today, a happy birthday to you Tim Jessup. Three, two, one, and they're off. Carl Flash Tundo and Tim Jessup. Happy birthday to you Tim Jessup. Out, meeting the various dignitaries including the patron of the Safari Rally. His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta, Gareth, the CEO of the WRC project, the CEO of five, four, three, two, one, and they're up, ladies and gentlemen, Jesse Singh and Sahid Khan from Zambia. Along with Eric Bengi, the former two-wheel drive champion. Graduated this year from Subaru to Mitsubishi. In Kenya, it is really a great opportunity. We look at this with a lot of enthusiasm. We've lost this since 20, uh, 2002. Since then we've wanted to have it back and this is our last test to see if next year we will have it. If we get it back next year, it will be a great relief to all of us and all those who grew up with Safari Rally will be really, really excited. For the government, you know, we made this uh, as a commitment. His Excellency the President, in fact, put it in his manifesto and made it one of his uh, pledges to the community that he will do everything possible to bring back the Safar Rally. So this is it. Let us see how we fare. And I hope this, uh, the World Safar Rally is back to Kenya. Your Excellency, I'm delighted to join you this morning as you flag off the World Rally Championship candidate event. Kenya has a rich history in hosting the Safari Rally, the first one having been held all the way back in 1953 an event that also covered Tanzania and Uganda. We continued to host the World Rally Championships for many years after that. Today marks a historic moment as we showcase our capacity as hosts and marks a significant milestone in bringing the rally back to Kenya. Your Excellency, I want to thank you for your personal commitment, for keeping the promise Your Excellency made in 2013 to return Kenya to the World Rally Championship circuit. As chair of the WRC Project Steering Committee, I want to assure Your Excellency that we have done all that is required of us to host a successful event. I'm also grateful, Your Excellency, that FIFA has sent a dynamic team to assess our capacity, led by the dynamic Ms. Michelle Mouton. I wish them a pleasant and exciting stay during the candidate event.
Your Excellency, we recognize and appreciate the drivers, the core drivers and technical teams who have worked hard, very hard, to prepare and participate in this rally. Many who have come from home and others from abroad. I'm sure you'll enjoy the drive through Nairobi, parts of Kiambu County and the Rift Valley. Our roads wait to test your skill and thrill your spirits. I'm also delighted that we, ho we are hosting a large media presence that's keen to cover the event and welcome the many viewers watching the event to rediscover magical Kenya's beautiful hills and beautiful valleys. I wish to thank KCB for maintaining the rally culture all through the years, especially since 203, by faithfully sponsoring the Kenya Rally Championships. This sets the stage for a potentially successful candidate event. We celebrate, Your Excellency, this triple helix cooperative model between the Federation, private sector, and government in project delivery, and we look forward to your continued partnership. Your Excellency, a comprehensive report will be delivered to us after this um, event, and it will be delivered to us by the FI Safety Commission. And we are confident that uh, in the report we will score well and that immediately we will be allowed to embark on the next phase of this historic journey, preparations for the WRC Safari Rally. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank the uh, CEO uh, of the project uh, who has really worked uh, tirelessly to make sure that we keep uh, this wonderful promise. We're very, very excited today ladies and gentlemen, and I want to take this occasion to truly, truly, truly welcome everybody today as we continue a journey that we started in 2013 to return the most iconic of motoring events, the Safari Rally, to the International Automobile Federation World Rally Championship Series. This is culminating today as we proudly host this World Rally Championship candidate event. With the first event, as Amin has just said, having taken place in our country in 1953, rallying has very deep roots in Kenya's national psyche. Indeed, many generations of Kenyans have been raised against the backdrop of impressive rally races crisscrossing our nation and region, and many Kenyans looking up to motoring legends who distinguish themselves due to their skill, daring, and jaw-dropping feats. It is my hope that this Safari Rally event plants a seed of hope in many, many more hearts as we move forward. Indeed, as the saying goes, the Safari Rally and other sports they best embody the spirit of possibilities, a spirit that conquers and defies all odds, and most importantly, a spirit that brings us Kenyans together. My administration is committed to supporting rallying in Kenya, and indeed, like so many Kenyans, I personally am confident that not only will this safari rally be a full series event, but also at some stage, the Kenyan flag will also feature on a winning podium. For us to achieve this, I continue to call on corporate sponsors, and I thank especially KCB and all private sector stakeholders to join hands with government in supporting the emergence and growth of this rallying talent that we have. Opportunities for this abound, and I can confirm that the government, through the Ministry of Sports, is eager to lend a hand whatever support that the industry and sponsors may require. I cannot but say that I acknowledge fully and thank the support that we have received from the International Automobile Federation through its president, Jean Todd, and through you, Michelle, please pass on our best regards. We appreciate very much. And in our endeavor to ensure that Kenya returns to the World Rally Championship, the logistical and technical support that we have received from the International Automobile Federation has not only made this event possible, but also deepened Kenya's capacity to deliver world-class rallying experiences. We are committed, and I repeat again, committed, 
to meeting all international automobile federation regulations, standards, requirements, so that Kenya may once again feature at the apex of global rally. I want to conclude by thanking both the global and local governing bodies, event sponsors, the facilitators, and indeed the magnificent team that has worked tirelessly to bring this event to reality. I wish all drivers and navigators and indeed their entire supporting teams, including my Chief of Staff, Tuone Vili Atafanya, is one of the participants in this event. And we look forward to safe and exhilarating rallying displays that will indeed inspire a new generation of participants into this sport. At this juncture, let me also reiterate a particular point and our commitment to road safety as, our, as, our, as, our, as per our pledge to IFA, who are our partners, and to call upon all participating, all spectators, and indeed all road users. Let us remember that as much as we need to get to places on time, what's more important is to get there safely in order to ensure that we protect lives on our roads. Reporting from the Kenya Digital News, my name is John Matava.